Well, I think the thing about Nelson Kennedy Ledges that makes the park unique to me is it's one of the best places in Ohio to see a rock unit called the Sharing Conglomerate. And the Sharing Conglomerate, it's called a conglomerate because it's made up of a lot of sand and then little quartzite pebbles that are all cemented together to form this rock unit. You have, you know, places here where you can have almost 50 feet of really cool ledges and big blocks of this rock unit. And it's just one of the most remarkable places in this place in the state to see it. Well, you know, recently it rained. So you got water that's just flowing down through the park. And the cool thing about the water here is that it is the driver behind a lot of the really awesome ledge features that you're seeing in the park. So you will have places in this park where you have big blocks of this sharing conglomerate that have cracks that we call joints. And as the water over the years has flowed into those joints and flown down um, to the base of those rock units, it's caused those blocks to separate and slide. And sometimes they'll topple over and you'll end up with these big slump blocks of Sharon that have been tipped over. And you can tell they've been tipped over because all the beds and the rows of pebbles are all gonna be tilted over on their side relative to the other rocks that you see in the park. One question I get a lot are, where did all these little quartzite pebbles come from? You know, it's a unique thing and you walk in, you're just, they're littered all underneath your feet. Many, many millions of years ago, there was a mountain event that was really far east of here, kind of in modern day New York, called the Allegheny Orogeny. And as those mountains eroded, all of those quartz pebbles and the material from that um, mountain event, it made it via water all the way here to what is now Ohio. And so that long journey of all those quartzite pebbles are what give them their nice round weathered shape. And that's the source of the material that makes up all the rocks here that you see in the Sharon conglomerate. So right here, I'm showing cross bedding in the Sharon conglomerate. And you can see these angled beds where they come up here and meet to these horizontal beds. And that's how we can actually kind of tell the direction the current was flowing, depositing these pebbles and sands. There's another really interesting feature in the park called honeycomb weathering. And this is a weathering pattern that we see on the sandstones where you actually have some material being weathered away and that leaves these pits behind. And when they all kind of connect, they look like a honeycomb feature. So it isn't just Sharon conglomerate that we see at Nelson Kennedy Ledges. We actually have a piece of the Meadville Shale at the very base that you can see near Cascade Falls and Gold Hunters Cave. At that point, that shale is very slippery and slick and easily eroded. Uh, and that's actually responsible for the creation of that cave as that shale gets eroded away and the sandstone roof can form because it's a much harder to erode rock. And that contact is really interesting because there's a mineral called pyrite that we find, uh, which is actually how that cave got its name. Uh, pyrite's commonly known as fool's gold. So at one point in time, there was some gold that was looked at in there. Uh, it was actually just pyrite. So another one of the really interesting places that you should check out the next time you're at Nelson Kennedy Ledges is called Devil's Icebox. And Devil's Icebox is a small area between two blocks of Sharon Conglomerate that have slipped and separated a little bit. When you walk in there, you can feel the temperature drop 10, 15, maybe even 20 degrees on a warm summer day. It's because, you know, that area doesn't get warmed by the sun. It's kind of like deeper down, insulated by all the rocks. You have a stream that's running through it, a little creek that's moving quartz pebbles off the stone and out of it. And whenever you stop by, that's definitely one of the places you should go squeeze yourself into and check out because that temperature difference as you go experience that microclimate in there is really remarkable.